Hello everyone. I'm Virani Intachat from the Department of Electrical Engineering, Polymas. In this video, my colleagues and I will introduce you to a device called Pro Programmable Logic Controller or PLC and show how it can be used to control a simple electrical circuit. PLC is an industrial computer for the control of manufacturing processes such as assembly lines, machines, robotic devices or any activity that requires high reliability. As with all computers, the PLC requires a program to control any elements connected to it. The PLC can be classified into three types, compact, modular and rack. They can be differentiated by their size, number of input and output lines available, memory size as well as its capabilities for expansion and communication. In this practical work today, we are going to show how we can control a simple circuit using the PLC. First, we will demonstrate how to wire the input and output elements of the circuit to the PLC. Then, we will show how to write a program to control the circuit connected to the PLC. The PLC we will be using is the Omron CP1E, which has 20 input and output lines. The CP1E has four main sections. They are A, the input interface which is made up of 12 input points, starting from address 00 to 11. This can be used to connect input devices such as switches and various types of sensors. The output interface which is made up of 8 output points starting from address 10,000, 10,001 until 10,007. These are used to connect to output devices such as solenoid valve, pilot lamps and other actuators. C is the built-in RS-232 port which is used to connect to a HMI device. And the fourth part is the peripheral port which can be used to connect to PC to enable us to transfer programs into the PLC. The first step we will perform is to make the wiring connection for the input device and output devices. For this task, we need appropriate hand tools such as screwdriver, test pen, cutters, and connector wires with crocodile clips and banana plug. Now, let us see how we can connect devices to the input and output interface of the PLC. For the input, we are using two push buttons which are used to start and stop the circuit respectively. At the output, we are controlling several devices which are two pilot lamps, a motor, and a buzzer. We also need a power supply for the output devices. At the input and output terminals of the PLC, cable lugs are used to facilitate the use of crocodile clips cable. Based on the wiring diagram, we connect the devices to the respective terminals on the PLC. Apabila switch start ditekan, lampu hijau dan lampu merah akan berkelip dalam tempoh 30 saat. Selepas 30 saat, buzzer dan motor akan berfungsi. Untuk mematikan buzzer dan motor, Swiss pun nak tekan stop akan ditekan 